level of the indicator kind of thing to kind of gauge him because he just goes. He, he also goes from zero to one hundred percent. Yeah, like, and just boom. Yeah, and it's like insert my line here. Oh my god! He, just goes, <laughs> he, he also goes it. from. <laughs> you um, did. He, he oh, also god. goes from zero to one hundred. Get me out! Yeah, like, and just all right. Boom. We got Dota. Oh, Same like, bands coming out. Line. I can feel the audio yeah. in your head. Oh my it's god! I actually you think it might be. You got a box over there. I think that could turn it down. Dude, I don't know how to do. I've done enough production stuff here. Please don't make me do more. I've been doing it fine. I'm doing all I can here. Let me actually see. Is it? Is it that one? I don't know, but I need a moment. Let's not do that. Assemble myself. Okay, never mind. Let me stop. Please don't make me do more. I've been doing fine. I'm uh, doing Clark all Clark I can here. Just gaming. I, I am surprised. surprised. Is it that one? I don't know, but I need a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Let me stop. Please don't make me do more. I've been doing fine. I'm doing all this time here. Just gaming. I am surprised. I don't know, but I need a moment. Let's tell you about this. Never mind. Please don't make me do more. I've been doing fine. I'm doing all this time here. Just gaming. I am surprised. I don't know, but I need a moment. Let's tell you about this. Please don't make me do more. I've been doing fine. I'm doing all this time here. Just gaming. I am surprised. do you go for phoenix hitters in most of phoenix games we've had at least yesterday the teams were severely lacking and actually drafting just to disengage from the phoenix yeah whenever I mean, he egged having egg hitters is very important and also when you're playing versus faces void so they do go for the shadow fiend anyway yep. with the clockwork playing with playing versus with just phoenix it's different when you're playing versus phoenix and void because phoenix can drop the egg and then when you start like focusing on it void jumps in and then he gets the chrono on top and it's like uh-oh so it's a little bit different when you're playing versus this, but right away, mm -hmm. so Shadow Fiend versus Phoenix, that's a way to kill the egg. Clockwork is a good hero versus Phoenix, not because he can kill the egg, but because you can't really always Icarus dive out of Battery Assault. If you do get grabbed up, if the clock is able to find that Phoenix, it can actually be very instrumental to winning a team fight. I think there was actually a moment in one of the other Invictus Gaming matches where uh, Clockwork's Battery Assault caught in mid Icarus dive. That's yeah, that's, like, that's, the inter yeah, that's the interaction, because it's like if uh, you try to dive and it just like, it catches you right away. If you don't like... I mean, timing it is like. Oh, he actually he got like in mid dive. Oh, really? It was it was uh, rune grab, and uh, he hit the battery assault, and the second the battery assault hit at the same time, Icarus dived, and you're like, oh, that's just unlucky. That's nice. That's just nice. <laughs> it's nice. Vengeful spirit and dark sea are being removed. So uh, planet odd looking for swap out safety, some kind of safe. That was something Invictus Gaming, well, didn't have. We we're expecting to bite them in the butt later on. Um, yeah. That's that's saved from the big combinations. Uh, in this case, it's the faceless void. Uh, what else can you go? Like, do you almost bring back the old school combination where you had like SD and Clockwork together? I don't know mm. if you can run both of those supports. SD feels a little bit too weak right now as a support. He's gotten some buffs on his talents and everything, but the recent like the nerfs to illusions just too much, you know. And poison is just very underwhelming for the mana cost. The thing with the Venge ban is, like you said, it is a save versus the Void, but it's also one of IG's like staples when they do pick the Shadow Fiend, like the yeah. Shadow Fiend Void Venge combo with on Burning, so they have that push centric push centric things very heavily emphasized on the Shadow Fiend as well with the bonus auras. So what else do you do then? Do you just go for... Well, can you get sustain? For IG? Yeah. Um, I'm I think wondering, that, like... I'm almost thinking that they're going to draft something super similar to that they were doing in the other days, right? Just the same kind of drafts. Okay. Right? Like, they, they picked this, like, Clockwork Shadow Fiend or CM, CM Shadow Fiend, CM Clockwork Shadow Fiend, and then they just picked, like, Kanka, Night Stalker, Wraith King, things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Wraith King was the Wraith King was their last answer to a huge ass team I think fight. That's the best I think Wraith King is probably one of the best heroes that we always used to talk about versus Void, because you chrono him, he comes back to life. He doesn't really care too much. I don't think they'll pick a third, but I think it is a high potential of a Wraith King game for Burning coming out here. Well, Earth Spirit's gonna be the pickup from Planet Odd. So they're able to get their rotations. Phoenix is already half decent at doing rotations. It's team fight, team fight, team fight. However, this is Phoenix Earth Spirit. They are heavy team fighters, but their laning is not the greatest. So they are susceptible to some type of like aggressive dual lane coming out. 
if IG wants to run something along those lines. Well, maybe that's when we look to the other hero, the Burning Plate in synergy with uh, Baboka's Clockwork. Actually, I think that's when XSS played the Clockwork and they ran Lifestealer. Disruptor, uh, Disruptor will be the pickup, so they get some team fight of their own. But yeah, they, they ran Lifestealer and technically... Actually, I think that was in the offlane as well. Was that here or Maybe, when was that? Because they haven't ran the life sealer here yet. I thought it was here. Maybe it's another another team I'm thinking of that that did this against. Uh, uh, did it with the clockwork. Hmm. Don't I'm not really remembering. Ma Lots of games happening. Yeah, yeah. Brain, not working enough. Disruptor though, great hero versus Void in pretty much all stages of the game, even the lane. The the um, Thunder Strike is very annoying because you can't really time walk it off properly. Great catch. Incredibly good versus all three of these heroes. They don't build magic or magic immunity pretty much ever. Void maybe eventually like super later on, but Static Storm already looking to be a heavy potential uh, team fighter here. So please stop me from saying potential. Thank you. I think I heard myself th it's, say it five times in the last like ten minutes. Is that your tick word now? Is it? Apparently it might be. I used so to say like, obviously like, and stuff, and now it's just it's potential. So I just don't want to say it anymore. Try to make me stop. What I was, will try my best to. What was my one? Someone actually did a counter during the middle of a draft. This is like when I was doing uh, Warcraft 3 Dota casting. And there was something that I said, and they counted it 30 times. I said it during one draft. It That's was, a lot. I don't think I say it that many times. And I think it was definitely. Oh. I think definitely was the word. Those are, those are just like filler words, though. Like, yeah. You know, if definitely, yeah. obviously, like... Yeah. Anything, even potentially, it's the same. It's literally the kind of the same thing. Literally, yeah, literally. Yeah, but we only do that because it just triggers so many people, especially Whoa. Ben Mulaney, Wu, and a Lashrak from Planet Odd. Is this the first Lesh of the tournament? I think you're, it is. You're the man that can look it up. I think it just <laughs> is, actually. I, mean, let's take, I said actually. That's another fit word. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. Go. Uh, a l l y words. Let's see. Um. How do I even use well, this the website? Lash, Misery's no stranger to this. He's he's run this in many drafts at many older tournaments. But the Lashrak. Synergy with the Faceless Void isn't too bad. Hard to get in, so he needs to catch people on the side. And is it actually the first one? It's... I mean, the the thing about the Lash is also it's very strong versus Shadowfiend until he gets like BKB. You kind of just run him, but you're also very squishy. you actually thinking this being a Lash mid running at the SF? Like they squishy. haven't picked a mid yet, right? It's it's true. It could be what, like a, there's the safe lane lash or something. Uh, like uh, I'm thinking it's looking more like you, Weeha's hero. Yeah, would you want to put resolution on such a thing? It's. Uh. I'm not seeing a lash right here. <laughs> I, I think it's you know what, this is that new time. It could be Phoenix mid. <laughs> no, actually they could do faces void mid with a PMS uh, and Phoenix off lane and then run support lash rack. Don't know if that's what you really want to get from Moon. Mm. When the combination's just a little too simple to work with the Void. Like, it, it can be done by a support. IG's thrown off by this completely. Look at that. Yeah. They're just like, uh, less? <laughs> <laughs> Heavy magic damage coming out from Planet Odd. It's like, wait, uh, a damage output from the SF is still good. D push isn't really anti -mage. terrific. And oh. of course, when in trouble, turn to the burning anti mage. Burn off all the mana of the Lashrak, and then the mana void is going to do so much work later on. They don't have, I mean, they have okay kind of catch room. They have Void Chrono, they have like the Earth Spirit Lockdown, and they have Lesh Stun, but those are not really entirely that reliable. The Chrono, of course, is, but Anti Mage with his spell shield is very resilient toward this, all this. This is Burning playing the Anti Mage. Like, yeah, it's Burning as I, well. I, I remember Sing Sing telling me, like, uh, if you get caught out by a Faces Void Chronosphere and you have a blink, then you're a bloody idiot. Uh, he didn't use the word bloody idiot, he used something a lot stronger. Uh, but with Burning, as long as he doesn't turn around to blink, he should be okay. And dodge. As if I listen to the words of Sing Sing. I don't know if you agree. Mm, I, think it's, I think it's sometimes kind of hard to just, like, dodge Chrono. But even in Chrono, like, they're, they're all magic damage right now. They don't have any physical... The physical damage is only Void right now. Mm -hmm. And he's not even incredible by any means in that aspect. Hmm. All right, so in Victor's game, we need one last hero, which will more than likely be their offlaner, hence the Batrider ban out by Misery. Mm -hmm. uh, just a secondary initiator that could work with them. I'm wondering if there's anything which is uh, the saving slash buff. That almost feels like a respect last ban. Like, I don't know where the hell they're going to go with these planes. I'm just going to take out the Clinks. Clinks would have been a nice silence hero that could pick off the Disruptor in the back lines. Shaker's still there. It can be very disruptive if they want to go for something like that for him. I think IG have only run the Shaker on Radiant, though. Not They have uh, only run it on Radiant, yeah. But XSS did play it, I think, once or twice. 
Yeah. Especially for, he played a versus a Phoenix lane too, and he just like echoed. So he goes for the sanking instead. All right. So it is a disabler initiator. Technically, it's a little bit. Of, it's a lot of counter fight as well. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have like the great pull in to disruptor, but just having epicenter, even if faceless void wants to try and fight that, the SK can just technically jump in. Yeah. And create space just from his epicenter. It's great for get defending like the early towers because right now planet odds tower siege is you know the last edict but yep. if you're doing that you're putting yourself in a very susceptible position to just get jumped on by the sand king so mop up the creep wave also with the caustic yep. so you have to take the damage all right planet odd their draft is it's very different from what we've been seeing so i'm not really too sure what their last pick could be i'm still they, thinking this is weha's lash okay so they go for the rezo sven but sven with a void that's you don't really have physical damage inside the Chronosphere. It does give you another stun, though. This used to be the thing. And, like, I was always very iffy about it just because this thing couldn't do any kind of damage. But if you got the Blink Dagger on resolution, mm -hmm. you could hit the side of the Chronosphere and you catch someone in the side of the Chronosphere. Yeah, if, if, they're, like on the, if they're on the brim of it, on the rim, they, you can. Yeah. But Sven also suffers a bit versus Clockwork. Clockwork was one of like the big kind of heroes that always would be incredibly good versus him just because even if you have a BKB, you get hookshotted, he can do a lot to just mess with you. Hookshot, put him in the cogs, four staff out, and then Sven is just like, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here yep. for a bit. We'll see if Planet Odd can make this one work. It's, like we said, different from what we've been seeing a bit. And, you know, it's a, it's a mid-lash. I don't remember the last time I saw this. Yeah, uh, I... I have no recollection of that, but then again, we also had a mid-ancient apparition today, so hey, anything is possible. Anything can work. And a mid-shaker, right? Mid-shaker yesterday. Mm -hmm. Stop pointing at the production. I remember, Toby. <laughs> you remember? Turn rem off the layer? Yeah. Do I do it right now? Okay. <laughs> yes, you do it now, so then we okay. have the... <laughs> Look how cool it looks. Like. Without it being blocked. All right, well, Toby's helping me, guys. You know, I'm, I'm working I, on my production. I, I got your back. That's all good. I got your back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we do things the old school way here. Hmm. I'm, I'm looking at the double stun combos, combos later, though. Like, Earth Spirit Kick, then Storm Bolt, and then you've got, like, like the Split Earth. I don't know how many levels you do. And then how do you, how do you even build that mid lash? Lightning, obviously, is a bit of, well, ass mm -hmm. for a while. So do you just put everything into Split Earth as well as Edict? I'm, I'm not too sure how you play the lane anymore. I know the Lightning is still decent to just, like, harass and zone, if you, especially if you have, like, a mid-ward, because then you can get the bounces going well. But you definitely want some points in the Edict to just take the towers we'll see the approach they take though it's very magic centric just besides the Sven but like you said now they at least have that reliable stun coming out from the Senate and they have the follow up as well and this ward it's almost becoming like the standard just run out to the lane get as close to the tower as possible so it doesn't get dewarded. It's it's always watching the off lane but it's just so standard these like I don't think there's been a single game today where that ward has not been planted for an off lane like it's happening right now on the bottom lane because Radiant didn't plant theirs down what taunt is that that I'm hearing? It's Moon. Is that oh that's the void taunt. I was like, why don't yeah. I recognize this one? <laughs> he's just he's just dancing himself around. I wanna see it again, like running right after Oh it's So it's offlane clockwork, by the way. <laughs> this time around. So they want to prioritize getting the clockworks uh, levels a bit more versus the Sven, and they think that the roaming from the Sanking can actually be a bit better with the disruptor and even like zoning the Sanking or zoning the void, having that like direct lockdown and catch for the void in the laning phase. Can actually be quite good. Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep watching it. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> He's being forced to do an engagement though. <laughs> Mood. Playing void versus uh, anti mage can be very obnoxious in the lane because you can just get, you know, you just get mana broke all <laughs> the time. So he can actually get like stunned up into mana break, mana break, mana break, glimpse back, mana break, and then he can actually be in a lot of trouble. So we'll see how Moon's able to do in this lane. This aggressive maneuvering that like Moon says high up on top lane, but the rest of Team Odd moved very aggressively up to the bounty rune, so SF doesn't get that. I think they are also aware, and this is something which was flagged during IG's previous games, where they spend so long having to burn the cogs to then get the souls. And if you're running an offlane clockwork as well, there's even less time to do it before clockwork has to get out to the lane. Mm -hmm. So you've only got uh, the 12 souls. I say only, uh, but you're the 12 souls inside the SF. They got a good block, too, for Planet Odd. The 
creeps yeah. are on his hill. He even has the lane ward as well for Weeha, but OP gets the first last hit anyway. Yeah, he he missed the he missed the block perfectly. Now rolling forward from misery. Splitter's gonna be able to connect. SF for all the damage you've got, all those souls you managed to pick up. Fairy fire has to be committed underneath the tower. The orb of venom, the last attack from Weeha is able to reach the Shadow Fiend. Good roll by Misery, seeing that opportunity and seizing it. That is things I'm thinking that's pretty much why they picked this kind of lane for him, just to bully the Shadow Fiend. Again, going in right away, get the stun, get the damage. They might actually be able to just bring him down again with the auto attacks here, diving him under the tower. One more hit and he's dead. It's the Orb of Venom. You can't just run away from the Earth Spirit. That was that's all his souls. He's down to four, and he just TP'd back. And now the Edict even is kind of, kind of come out of the tower, so early damage already coming out for Team Odd, Team or Planet Odd onto the mid lane. Is it great, you? He's got to start grating you. <laughs> just the taunt. I'm just ignoring it now at this point. I, I keep thinking of a microwave dinner with a ting at the end of it. <laughs> but Bulka at least is there in the mid lane to um, get at least a bit of that experience that was take, being taken. Weeha committing a secondary Edict. He's... He's level three, so it's level two edict. He's actually getting, getting it down to like half HP already. It's taking, taking a couple tower hits though. Well, by the, by the looks of, it, he's happy to accept the damage. Like he's still got a salve up his sleeve as well. XSS is a little bit far out, but Misery doesn't really feel like he can commit to anything. But by moving like this, they're making sure the clockwork's not going to get those quick levels on the offlane. Bobica's actually managed to pick up more levels as this roaming SK than the Clockworks managed to achieve in the offlane. Oh yeah, he got like two waves under the tower because Shadow Fiend dies. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. Gets a little bit of liberty from that. Gets the bounty rune. If he actually went in for uh, for the rune, rune uh, for the courier snipe, he would have actually it. hit the perfect timing. Yeah. And instead, he'll send Illusion in, send Illusion in, pathing it like nothing is unusual, and having no combination. Oh, he's got level one raises. There is nothing to work with there. Maybe if you had level 2 raises, that could be better. Yeah, he's just got to play it patient now for OP. Since he lost all his souls, he's just got to sit back, farm at the tower. Can't really play too far up since they don't have that high ground vision ward. I think that's the big thing that's actually hurting him in this mid lane, is not having the vision for Misery in the, those first two rolls. Usually you actually do see a lot of the Chinese teams very heavily emphasize on having that mid ward to protect their mid laner. Uh, there's only so long Moon can get away with staying this close to the top lane. Like... Q's got level 2 at the moment. Like, he's still holding on to the extra points to see if he can use wall or not. Yeah, he's got a mango, though, on Moon. So even if he gets his mana burned down, he can always mango and jump away. True. That's you know, just how low cost that time walk is as well. Only 40 mana to use it. Yeah. I like Burning's choice to go for the Orb of Venom, though, this game. That, have that little extra increased damage onto Moon actually starts to add up. Well, you actually have tick damage against a hero who normally likes to repair burst damage. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, OP's getting back on top of the CS, 15-5 to the 13-17, sitting at max souls. That's only because he doesn't have enough levels to uh, reach the second wave of souls. He's losing a little bit of an experience, though, because Baboka's literally just... Baboka's just chilling mid, because he's like, I don't want any of these shenanigans to happen again. Shadowfiend can't just die that many times in the laning phase. Two deaths is a lot already. XSS, Battery Assault, gonna hold resolution in position. The creep wave's coming oh, down. Rezos. That Battery Assault's doing some work. Is he dead? Uh, oh, he's no. got stick charges. He's alive. He's alive. Whew, that was very close. But Saxa had to commit quite heavily as well. This is gonna be the burning of both of the salves. Resolution and Saxa have both a salve each. Even though Rez will have to switch it out of his backpack. With the rotation from oh, the book atop, he's strong. Nice cogs. To come. He has to get out of here though. He doesn't want to TP, just in case there's mana for... Actually, no, the Storm Ball was already committed. Yep. So he can just walk it off. Oh, and the creeps get pulled into the neutral camp. That's pretty good for Planet Odd. <laughs> a little unfortunate for XXS, but they... In top lane, Baboka gets a haste rune, and they were actually able to close the gap onto Moon. XXS is coming back him. in again. Battery Assault into Misery. He doesn't have enough mana for... Uh, actually, he's got, he does, because he's got the Mango. So I was going to say, he, he didn't have enough mana for Cogs, but he does. Contesting the CS. Resolution will move up. Also shy of the mana for Stormbolt. Rezo's still farming great down here, even though he got pressured so hard. Even when like the full creep wave was under tower and he was at like 100 HP, mm -hmm. he actually got... I, I, I would say a little bit lucky, but Rezo is actually very good at last hitting under tower. He got like two or three of the CS with just his cleave when he was hitting the priority target. So that was impressive last hitting coming out from Mr. Rezo. 
Weeha is getting so so little now. Now the SF is kind of hitting a stride. Mm -hmm. Speaking, of, speaking of the with. devil, though. Oh, Moon glimpses him all the way back up towards the top. Lock him inside the wall. Where's your Burrow Strike? And OP, yeah, he will fall. Moon's you still him. on the run, but the Burrow Strike's going to arrive from Mobica. As soon as you say, OP's, you know, OP's he's, starting to pull ahead of Weeha. He's hitting the stride, right? The yeah. double rotation from both Misery and Saxa. They see the opportunity to jump in with Weeha. Yep. So they did have some deep wards coming out from IG. I think Baboka even placed that one ward in the mid lane behind the tower, trying to see that type of rotation coming in, but they came from the side. And OP just gets caught out from an Icarus dive roll stun. Even for these kills, like I know you, you move backwards on souls, but it looks like he spent most of his money before death, yep. so OP's not... Like, you're getting a little bit of diminishing returns when all three of the kills that uh, Team Odd have managed to pick up is on OP. It's still good because they're getting the experience, right? Like, Weha is almost level 7 compared to the level 5.5 OP. Yeah. It's very... It's, it's still really relevant to be just, like, putting that on the Shadow thing because he's, like, the middle... He's, like, the main importance of the entire draft in a way. The thing is that they do have an Anti-Mage as well, and Anti-Mage is full free farming. Resolution walked into the second cog and burned the last point of his mana. <laughs> I don't know if he's just trying to have less mana, but... It's pretty hard to kill Clockwork at this stage with their heroes anyway. Hmm. They have to have pretty much God... I think they actually have to have God Strength to bring him down. But he's always, like, sitting on almost no mana. The, the cogs from XSS are just being so good in their harassment. Nice observer ward down from Misery. Gonna go very deep in behind... Well, not very deep, just behind the tier 1 tower, but saw Bobica's movement up to the side. He wants to farm this big camp. They, that's I mean, that's what Planet Odd's been doing. They've been constantly stacking this over and over again. But Boca notices that, makes his way down. Misery's mm -hmm. going to initiate. Lane. OP under the tower. Q's going to be here. Can wall him up and try and hold him in position. There's no Requiem of Souls. Here comes your hookshot. XSS going to be there in time. You will still get the kill going the way for Lashrak. Q and XSS will mop up the pieces. Was he able to purchase anything before he died? I think he actually did. I think he finished his he, Ring of Aquila right before he died. He did. So he's not yeah, he's not really losing that much gold, but Weeha is pulling a bit ahead in that net worth advantage. But that was a good rotation coming out from both Q and XSS. They are able to get some much-needed experience on the Disruptor. He's almost level 6 on Disruptor just from chain pulling over and over again. And but since Baboka's just been running around, he's had the liberty of doing that one. And XXS, of course, beautiful TP coming out with him from him. As soon as he gets hookshot online, he's able to use it. It, it feels, again, like Invictus Gaming are not running a 3-core lineup. They're running a 4-core. Like, the SK has the same amount of net worth as the Faceless Void, and that's support versus offlane. Then you have the Clockwork, who's sitting at, like, 2.4k. A long way up, and now gonna catch Weeha. He can let the Pulse Nova and Edict go. The kick is not enough space. Rocket Flare was available, rolling bolt forward. Misery lo really looking for revenge. Bobaka coming up behind. You can steal a bounty. We're in a Misery. Has he actually got anything to get out of this one? Exercise is thinking about coming back in. SF rotating over from the mid. Misery has to play around his own ward. He's got hook he knows shot. this, but hook shot over. Burrow strike right now. And XSS will take the kill as Planet Odd really try to be the aggressors but getting punished for it by Invictus Gaming. Clockwork Cl is now fourth in net worth. This clock is an issue for sure. He's not even, he's not really like, uh, you know, he's not, he hasn't, didn't like pressure the spend too much in farm wise, but he was able to get his levels, clean rotations come out. He's ahead, in, ahead of the Shadow Fiend on net worth. That says, that tells its own tale. Yep. And the SF can play catch up now. Like, yep. OP just goes to the jungle, you prep your stacks, you flash it up, come back into the lane. I, the only issue you're going to have is Weeha's probably going to take your mid tier one tower. So I'll need to do something about that. Yeah, he's got Max Edict. Is there a Glyph available? There is. They'll probably expend it for this one. They do. And OP's able to pull the creeps off the tower. And now the port, port coming in oh. from Q. Well, he's got ulti. The stun from Weeha, the wall, it doesn't actually hold him in position. And he needs mana. Sunray kicks in from uh, from Saxa, and it's just safety heal more than anything else. IG broke off the chase. That was that was actually a very nice play from Wii there. That's one of those situations when the disruptor, you know, you want to get the glimpse back, but Wii just turns and mans up, and he's able to clear him, and now he's going to even secure the tower for himself. That being said, though, XSS is making the rotation toward mid. There is a heavy commitment, though, from Planet Odd. Don't yeah. think they're going to be able to respond. And they they brought resolution as well. The rolling boulder will connect. Bobica being kicked down. You'll have to borrow strike up to the ancients, take even more damage. But Burning knows something's coming for him. Mr. Battle Fury. Mr. I want to farm until my heart is content. 
Mm -hmm. I, the rest of Planet Odd is coming in. The time he does the pull is the time we hire Misery move to the top lane. So he's going to lose the creep wave as well. Yeah, I'm not certain this is the greatest under. time for him. Yeah, Weeha's going to take the whole stack too. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. For Invictus Gaming? Yeah. Well, it's SXS. However, okay, you've got uh, Smoke. Rocket, it's a, it's a trap. Vision, perfect hook shot. That Pulse Nova, Weeha's already pretty low. A blink into a Mana Void. There she is. There's the damage you're worried about. And Faceless Void can't get outside of the Storm of Q. They will both be lost. Planet Odd was bringing in reinforcements. In fact, everybody came to the top lane, but the damage is already done. Now you see, it was a plan by Burning. He's like, I'm going to pull this. They're going to go to farm it. And my boys are going to smoke in, wrap around, and get this beautiful hook shot from XXS. You no, that are 100% just... correct. We have well, been, they just got mind gamed. He is an amazing player, and we should all respect this fact. Well, they did know that this the rotation was going to come in. They, yeah, they definitely they expected that to happen, and that's why they smoked and started making that move. The pull, okay, sure. He, he sacrifices his creeps a little bit, but he puts them in a very disadvantageous position. And just very clean execution for both Q and XSS. Q is level 7 on Disruptor. This is like the dream for Disruptor so far. Level 11, or 11 minutes, almost level 8. Having heavy impact. Here they come again. Invictus Gaming, Burning is uh, doing that old school tactic of retreat. Yep. Get away from this fight. Let the SK finish up his Blink Dagger. And find another camp to, to farm. Edict is just... Way too strong early on to be able to push those towers to contest unless you're ahead. So just go for the trade off. Tier yeah. 1 tower in mid looks good. Yep. Get that trade going. Actually, However, get a god strength as well for this top lane. They want to do it quickly and get into the mid. Moon is setting up to defend in mid. So they actually are thwarted from pushing that and getting a trade off. Rezo now. Does he have any ancient stacks? He does. So he ports mid. He's trying to make that maximum efficiency of his god strength. And he's going to be able to farm that one up. XSS is going to find resolution. That being said, so though. Yep. God strength is... Wait. Rocket. Get some vision. He's thinking about it. Static Storm is available from Q, but they're not certain of the vision that it's Resolution a, has around here. It's a bad place to fight, right On next to the shrine. shrine. Yeah, it's, it's just not good. They don't they don't see anybody else on the map except for Weeha. They're like, that's not, that's just, that's like one of the Get worst out places. There. Bobrika, he just Barra Strike to farm the lane. Wants to start any kind of, like, okay, yeah, no TP, no joy. Sandstorm, evade to the trees. Sunray from Saksa. Saksa, able to find him. <laughs> just balls. <laughs> Yep. IG's just trying to make some trades happen because they have the late game. Well, not entirely, but they do have anti-mage going towards the late game, which is always extremely beneficial. Mm -hmm. So they're just... It's burning anti-mage as well going yeah. to the late game. They have a dual core with it, so it's it's quite nice. OP's going to be going for his standard build on the Shadow Fiend, going for that uh, Shadow Blade. Nice initi initiation as long as they don't bring... A large amount of detection against him. I think I see him get it every game. I think I've seen him only do it once where he rushes the Dragon Lance. He just really likes having this type of item, just getting those type of like pickoffs on anybody on the side, just being able to access the, the back line with this. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing he really has to dispel, right? Like It's not like he's going up against a slaughter and he's the man to, to dispel Alpha Amplification. Yeah, and BKB versus like Sven and Void. Eventually, sure, but getting oh. it early on is never really what you want to do on a Shadow Fiend. Or on majority of cores, because you don't want that to just... It pretty much like slows you down in a way. They're oh. giving a lot of space to Baboka to farm. They are yeah. just jungling on both of the main cores, on Burning and OP, while Baboka pushes lanes down and tries to farm that Blink Dagger. That's really their big thing next, is getting that Blink for their big team fight, because right now it's just this Disruptor. Bottom lane, Moon, he's got to yep. be the culprit. Perfect Storm. They can just battery assault him down the rest of the way. And you can see Moon... Taunt twitching in the middle of the circle. I see what you did there. The perfect storm. <laughs> Who was in that movie? I don't it know. It was terrible. It's a good book. I uh, think. I only ever watched the movie. <laughs> well, Resolution's now going to show himself. Exercise is TPing out. They're looking for a different opening. Oh, we he's are. ready. It's a hook shot down. They look for misery. Interesting. Getting lots of pickoffs right now from IG all over the place. With the, with the Observer Wards they had, actually, yeah, they don't see up near the Shrine. The Observer Wards from from Planet Odd, they watched the southern and the, uh, the northern side of the Roshan Pit. 
But I don't see anything into Invictus Gaming's jungle, really. Yeah, usually versus like Anti Mage and even like Shadowfin, you want to get a very deep ward. They do have like the one, it's not super deep, but you usually do want to have one to scout out where the Anti Mage is at least playing. Rolling mid lane. There's your silence on the Anti Mage, it's not going to last long enough. Burning. Very close if, to that battle they, fury. If they killed him then, they would have actually delayed the battle fury, but now he's done it. Yep, now he's got it finished up. So, 16 minute battle fury. With treads and armor venom. Pretty good. Yeah, not too shabby. And OP is... Top lane. Dead. <laughs> you know what? Was going through my head just before this happened. Just like it was in the mid lane. Oh, is he dead oh, though? Uh, yeah, he's, yeah he's, dead. Dead. <laughs> he's dead. Um, Just in the mid lane, it's like, man, he's number one in the net worth. He's looking really good again. Nope, 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 nope. Planet Odd will shut him down. Just hope that Toby's not a fan of your team, guys. <laughs> <laughs> is this why Na'Vi wins? <laughs> Bottom lane, XXS gonna be able to seize the tower up. They are able to claim it for IG. So he has his blade mail finished up. Blade mail is amazing versus Lush Rack because Lush has a lot of uncontrollable damage that he outputs. So if he's able to get on top of Weeha in these type of engagements, Weeha will actually just kill himself on it. Same thing versus Phoenix. Even you just bla blade mail run into Sunray. It's like come at me, bro. Yep. Well, still not feeling that power from from his Ven. Like I know the old the old tale with Ven was always you need to be like 2K in front of everybody else just yep. because of the way the hero functions and the way the hero should be farming. But right now he's still behind the anti mage and he's not that far ahead of the SF, Mister. Yeah. I've been ganked five times, uh, probably more actually, and only died five times. He's still got more net worth than the Lashrak. He's lost a lot of access into his own jungle. Like, they've had a couple stacks and stuff for him there, but he's not able to, like, you know, get those, like, massive stacks going along or anything. He's close, though. He's got he's got S and Y. He's got Mask of Madness finished up. He's level 12, so he's got, like, he's going to have, like, 2,500 HP when he does pop the God Strength. So he is fairly tanky, but the thing is that IG has a lot to deal with that. Like we mentioned, the Clockwork is one of the, one of the best at playing versus it. And... They have a lot of magic damage on IG. The Sand King, Disruptor, Shadow Fiend even. So I clicked on Burning and I saw him actually have a uh, Ring of Health on top of his Battle Q. Fury. You know what he wants. The Glimpse, the Wall, the Storm. It's not perfectly laid, however. So Sven can still war cry into safety. OP was starting the Requiem Assaults. Cancelled by Weeha, Split Earth, and the Icarus dive forward. Just a couple of spirits out. And Misery, Bobraka, he blinked in, blocked the rolling boulder, and made it so he could save his core. That what a that was such a bro move, bro Boca. That was great, actually. He just blinks right in front of it. But now they do get a big opportunity here, going into Roche Pit, God Strength Online, Mask of Madness. They Storm should be able to well. take this one down with ease. Clockwork Rocket, I think. Yeah, it flew up towards the ancient area. It didn't go into Roshan. So Invictus Gaming won't have vision of this at all. Okay, so Burning went for a Vanguard next. I was I was like think, trying to think of why he wanted got the Ring of Health so early, but he wants to be a little bit more tanky versus the Sven and versus the Void, so he can try to survive that Chronosphere. Like we said, they don't really have great damage besides Magical inside of the Chronosphere, so if he's able just to survive that one, they're disable. you know, they have Sven and Earthspear and stuff like that, but it's not really super reliable, so if he can actually just blink away, he can survive in majority of those instances. But yeah, Aegis now, finished up, or picked up now for Weeha, as you mentioned. He's got 13 charges on his Bloodstone, level 13, he's feeling pretty good. Finally, a way where you can make sure your Bloodstone charges don't get lost. Yep. Not to worry too much about the Blade Mail either. Sure, you might kill yourself on it, but you're going to bring him down and you come back to life. Yep. It means they can also be a little bit more aggressive pushing into these towers. Mm -hmm. Don't let the status quo continue where Invictus Gaming are just farming onto Burning. And he is so far ahead. He's the first one to hit the five digits in the net worth. Sven and Lashrak are still playing catch up here. And they don't have their initiation, so it is just a walk at you lineup. That Blink Dagger. Still not up for resolution. Moon went, went for Midas for too. instead. Yeah, Moon, Moon went for Midas instead of like going for the straight up Blink Dagger too. He's going to be getting it quite soon because they're going to be claiming a lot of objectives here while IG just goes for the split push with their lineup since you know, they don't want to fight into Aegis right now. Uh, coming from behind, that Earth, shape, Earth Spirit gets in, able to get the Silence. Shadow Fiend got his Invis off the Glimpse. Resolution all the way back up to the top, but it won't be enough to save the SF. In fact, Resolution will be happy with this. He can continue to farm. The fight doesn't really break out. Crisp rotations from Planet Odd. Good defense of the... Well, not defense of the tower, but... 
almost defense of the tower. But they then didn't this, have to but then this continues. Like, okay, so you have yeah. the top lane momentum. Burning just starts creep skipping. Yep. TPs around, does what Burning does best. They delay the Shadow Fiend's BKB, though, a bit. He was mm. fairly close to it. Did he actually just pick up a Yasha? On who? Oh, no, it's, it's because I'm clicking too quickly. I was so confused. I was like, "What? No." Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> "Why is there a Yasha?" It's because I was clicked on Any Mage and it was sitting, uh, it was sitting above him. Your APM is too second. high, Toby, for your own good. <laughs> my my IPM. Can I have an IPM? <laughs> <laughs> my, my eyes move faster than my hands. Robocut, double bar is strike. The tower's still gonna go down the radiant side. Hook shot in on the back lines. They're trying to control the Phoenix, and they don't actually have enough for it. The kick as well as the silence. It was too good for misery. The Nova should be able to connect Any Mage. Where is this damage? Where is it? It's just not. There, blink the away, the stun, the control, it is there! Burning will fall! Three down for Invictus Gaming. Exercise is ticking out to Magnetize, but he'll survive. Reaching back to the tier 3 tower, and OP huge. is the man who has to defend this. There's no buyback on Burning either. This could just be a Rax given up. Those were some clutch bashes coming out from Moon. I think he got like two or three after the Chrono ended. Oh. Oh. Shadow Fiend disconnecting, being one of the two sole survivors for Invictus Gaming. That's uh, not a good thing. That was some chain of events right there. The mid kill onto Shadow Fiend into a huge team fight. Big Supernova on top of the uh, Boulder Smash from Misery. And Resolution just able to whack the anti mage after the bash is coming out from Moon. Can't believe that. Like, he did more damage outside of Chrono than they did inside the Chrono. Yep. I <laughs> that shouldn't be happening. But. I was saying that I was gonna say too, like them going for like that kind of defense on that tier two right there just seemed very. I mean, you can see what they wanted to do there, but they got turned around so hard when they're playing versus this type of lineup. It's one type of mistake like that can really forfeit a lot. But Boca just coming in with the stun. Well, Odd had a moment to think about things, and they have just decided to retreat. Yeah, everyone's back up apart from Burning. But with the tier 3 tower down, they can move over towards the shrines. It's a big one as well. It's the Dire Shrine, which gives access to Roshan. Yeah. They don't have God Strength ready, so claiming the Rex was actually impossible. And it's, it's the smarter decision to make versus Disruptor, in hindsight. Interesting to see now how, how IG approached the next... I want to say next 10, 15 minutes of the game. Like, do you try and push it out yourself? Do you become the aggressors and just do this 4 and 1? Let Burning do whatever the hell he wants. Once he's got BKB. Once OP has BKB, then they can actually like look to try to do some stuff, but they still have to play really well around the Chronosphere and get him inside of, like, get a Sanking Stun into Disruptor Ultimate, and then once Void's out of there, then they can actually take some fights properly. Rolling Boulder, looking for Bobaka, the perfect kick and silence, meaning SK can't just bar strike himself away, and with a Storm Bolt and the God Strength, Resolution was really trying to make sure he had the damage to bring down the SK before the Barra Strike would be completed. Yeah, I think ever since that, uh, the situation that happened versus VP, he like held on to his God Strength like one situation. He, I think never again, Brezzo <laughs> says. He's like, I will overkill you, but I am killing you. He can actually take this tower by himself now. Yep. Level 1 tower, no backdoor regenerations for these suckers. Also, no fortification available for Invictus Gaming until the tower falls. Barely even used his sword there. He was just beating it with his shield. Good old Sven. <laughs> Got my smashing board. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tower. Uh, with the extra cleave and with the help of Weeha, this tier 2 tower doesn't really stand a chance. Edict could do so much work. Planet Odds look. Very good right now. Blink Dagger finished up on Misery after that engagement. Midas was finished a while ago on Soxa. He's on his way toward his Shivas. He's got level 14, close to 15. Everything's starting to just up and up after that whole entire mid engagement. Question is, how far can they take it? You got a smoke maneuver now coming out from Invictus Gaming. Looking for Aegis just gets some reclaimed. opening. Yep. Yeah, what a timing for it. The smoke runs into the smoke. The cogs don't get up in time. The storm cuts the fight, but then so does the Chronosphere of Moon. Bobaka and XSS have no presence here whatsoever. Two heroes down. The Nova will actually connect to OP's gone. Invictus Gaming almost wiped from the face of the earth, apart from money bags. The two big initiatives. On IG, the Clockwork and the Sanking get grabbed in the Chronosphere right away, unable to use pretty much all of their spells. And Burning just sits on the sideline being like, I can't go into this, guys. <laughs> well, 
SF can buy back, but without souls, he ain't going to be too good. And, uh, well, he's going to do it anyway. Defend the racks. And it looks like Team Mod are going to be okay with this. Yeah. As they, I said before, like, God Strength disappears, and what do you do? Yeah, I mean, they they don't want to risk it, right? Like, they just won, like, two pretty handed, handed team fights. So they don't it, stay, staying on the high ground there after a buyback is just just way too risky. Mm -hmm. Burning is now finding he's lost. He hasn't lost both of the camps, just one of them. Yeah. To the Observer Ward. Close to the Manta style. That's where he can actually start fighting with his team a bit. If he can get on top of the last track when all the rest of the disables are used, he can actually become a relevant force into the fights. But there is just, you know, there is a lot of... There's a lot of stun now when they have, like, the increased setup. I love the build that's coming out from Weeha, too. He's going, uh... Okay, actually, never mind. He switched it up. I saw him actually have the, uh, hex queued up. And then he switched here. He had the Atos queued up, then he switched it to Hex, and now he's got just the ulti orb into bots. So he'll probably get, the, I think he might get the Hex afterwards, if not a Lincoln's, but either way, those are all, all those choices are very good versus the anti mage. Alright, so IG. I have to change the pace of this game. They are still one game up in the series, so. The pressure is more on Planet Odd. And Burning just has the pressure to continue his farm. Mandasile, Battle Fury, Vanguard now looking to line up the Basher into Abyssal. It's all about the initiation in these fights. If XXS is able to isolate either the Phoenix or the Earth Spirit or something, or even afterwards get the Sven, oh, OP. after they kill Sanking, then it's very big. He attacked him and Saksuka just TP'd out. I don't know if XXS could have just gone for the hook shot there. I think they're just a bit afraid. Yeah. They don't see anybody in the enemy jungle. They only see like one hero in mid. They don't really know where everybody else is at the moment. Bobica's looking for his own farm in mid. Last time that happened, Misery initiated on him. This time, Bobica ready to TP away before he gets kicked. The blink from Misery really does catch, Burning. catch you by Ooh. surprise. He is in trouble. If he gets hit by the stun, he could actually go down here. He got hit by Scott it. Scott Blink up. Will oh, Rezo be able to find to him? the trees, start the TP. Another stun, glimpse, and then Chrono! <gasps> He ticks out just before it. The Krona will still hold Sven as well as we are in position for half a second. But what no up? burning for 70 seconds. He yep. spent his money. Oh, he did actually. Yeah, you're right. We, remember he finished up the Manta style. So. He's short by 322 gold. That was a big jump there from Rezo. <laughs> just he God Strength blinks in since he's level. he was level 18 for that one. It's the max level God Strength. His damage is actually absurd onto the Anti-Mage. And then Weeha with the follow-up. OP wants to let the ulti go. They have their own sentry ward as, uh, well, Moon starts the time dilation. BKB from OP, now Requiem of Souls flies out. At least they're getting some of the damage, but Resolution could just stand it out. The Nova finishes his hit. And then maybe with a hook shot, Saksuka? No, Misery back into the fray with the silence. They've got it. The perfect Sunray. The double kill for Phoenix. And with four heroes down with no buybacks available, and that is, in fact, GG was the point I was just about to reach. And Victus Gaming realized it just at the same time. It is over. We're going to a third. Really well played fights coming out from Planet Odd. It looked like IG was pulling into like a little bit of a like, good position when they were uh, splitting up the map a lot and getting some good smoke rotations. But then it was just Planet